Hey, Warpugs. So, today, we're checking out something from Kentucky Ballistics. And I will just say this. Scott, you were a terrifying man when you were wearing a blonde wig. I am just gonna say that. I'm just gonna leave that there. Warpugs, a suppressed Desert Eagle 50 cal. Why would you ever find the need to suppress a deagle? What would you be hunting that you would need to suppress a deagle? Those are the questions that pour through my mind at times like this. But underneath the same circumstance, I can only help but answer that question with another question. Why would you suppress a deagle? Why not? We've seen other more ridiculous things than this on this channel. We have seen this. Warpugs, thank you for introducing me to Kentucky Ballistics. This has been a whole thing. I am enjoying my little... I'm, I'm enjoying my stay in Gun 2 for a little bit. I'm enjoying this. Um, We are... Like, you guys are constantly recommending new channels, new experiences for me that I never had seen before. And channels like this are part of that and i am vastly appreciative of you guys help like let me experience with you and let me share this with you as well for those of you who have never seen this before have never uh, been around this before please go over to kentucky ballistics channel be sure to hit, hit his subscribe button hit his like button everything else like that all of his links are going to be in the description below including my own um and i will say this guys it has been a pleasure over the past years, just watching this community grow. I uh, I will just say that now. I saw how close I am to 25,000 subscribers. I really can't believe that. Um, it's kind of a shocker to me. But I just wanted to say that, just in case I, you don't hear me say it again, I really do appreciate every single per one of you that clicks on one of these, leaves a like or a comment. But that being said, I'm going to shut up and stop being a sappy piece of crap. We're going to check this out, and my God, it's unnerving to see a man his size wearing a blonde wig. I'm just saying, because I know he is six foot 45, it is kind of disturbing. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, let's get into it. What's up, everybody? My name is Scooter, and you're watching Adventures with Scooter, and I finally did it. I got a hand cannon, a Desert Eagle chambered in 50 EA. Supposed to be one of the most powerful handguns in the whole world. And now we're going to shoot it. It hurts my feelings to see that that thing looks like a 1911 in his grip. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> just like the Call of Duty's game. Oh, God. It's going to be awesome. Well, you know... They call them Desert Eagles, but I, I didn't know they could actually fly. <laughs> My cat is, let me hear you. Will you sit here and watch this with me? Let's go. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. All right. I am very excited about today's video. If you do not know, I am it's a claw, hand sure. cannon connoisseur. There you and go. And today I have one that's very <laughs> I love unique. the shirt. I love the shirt. She be kicking. Now, most of you have seen a Desert Eagle before. If you watch movies or you play video games, you've seen one of these. This is a Magnum yep. Research Desert Eagle chambered in 50 AE. But something you don't see very often, most of the time you only see this in the video games, is a suppressed Desert Eagle. Two things about a suppressed Desert Eagle. First, it's the size of a rifle. First of all, it is absolutely stinking awesome. Second of all, it's really hard to get one to function. The only time I have ever seen a suppressed Desert Eagle, they were running supersonic loads. If you put subsonic ammunition in one of these and you try to get that full suppressed effect, the gun does not seem to function well, or pretty much at all. But today I have some very special ammunition and I'm not talking about the spicy kind. I actually, hmm, I went back and checked out the actual video uh, where he had the accident. Now, 
Um, I'm going to tell you guys, because I, I really wanted to know where the stick of thumb and everything came from. I wanted to know where all of that came from. And he is very lucky to be alive, guys. He is extremely lucky to be alive from the way that that gun exploded. There were... <coughs> there was a lot of things that could have gone even worse. They, 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 they went bad. Trust me. They, many things went bad when that gun exploded on him. But you're talking just mere, mere millimeters, and we wouldn't be sitting here watching him right now. And for him to come back from that is incredible to me. And, um, for me, it's, it's a thing that tells you that you can come back from pretty much anything. You can, you can make a return. You can, you can keep going. And that's important. I have some 50 AE subsonic ammunition that was built for this gun specifically, and it should run like butter. But, uh, I am very excited to shoot this thing and have some subsonic big bore fun. Let's go get set up and get started. Let's do it. Okay, first, let's do we can tell. Dude, <laughs> tickles. Come on, Scott. <laughs> Why? A difference in sound. I've got a standard Desert Eagle here loaded up with supersonic ammunition. And then in the suppressed Desert Eagle, I have one round of supersonic ammunition and then two rounds of 450 grain hard cast subsonic rounds. Okay, standard ammunition first. It's good and loud. Yeah. Supersonic out of the suppressed Deagle. I was still a lot quieter. Standard Desert Eagle. Suppressed with subsonic ammunition. Turn off my safety. <laughs> that is so much quieter. Standard. Suppressed with subsonic. <laughs> that. And it functions. This is stinking awesome. Let's have some more fun. Okay. I okay. Gun sounds aside, it still it still sounds it still sounds rather loud. But I would never assume that that second was a deagle. I would never assume that second was any kind of high grain. At all. I've got five more rounds of 50 AE subsonic 450 grain hard cast. That is a mouthful. Let's see if this thing functions all five rounds without jamming. Also, I'm not wearing ear pro. Very nice. That is very nice. Absolutely awesome. No ears ringing and still throwing a giant round out of a giant semi automatic handgun. She be kicking. And if you also <laughs> would like to be kicking, check out my new She Be Kicking shirts in the description down below. We'll you be in the description, guys. And I deliver. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're faking it. That's not actual subsonic ammunition. Show us some numbers, you phony. Well, here you go. Here's a lovely chronograph. This magical device will show us the speed of our bullets and also will microwave my Hot Pockets later. Yay! Let's get this thing set up. All right. Here we go. First shot. Error. Error. Too subsonic -y for it. Let's try again. Okay. And he probably knows what I've done to his siblings and family members, and he's just not wanting to cooperate. <laughs> so I think the sunlight is what was affecting that. Let's try one more time. <laughs> Still nothing. Now you see why I hate these things. Still nothing. This close. This close to ending up like your friends. You're <laughs> embarrassing me.
<laughs> I've moved the uncooperative chronograph one more time. Let's try again. 1,032, 1,028, 1,026. So according to people a lot smarter than me, the speed of sound is around 1,066 feet per second to 1,100 feet per second, depending on atmospheric conditions. We were throwing a 450 grain 50 AE subsonic round at under the speed of sound <coughs> at the Suppressed Desert Eagle, and it is fully functional, not nice. a single jam. I have never seen anyone do this with a Desert Eagle before and actually get it to function. So you've seen it here first, folks. Let's keep going. Let's go. So now I want to know what it would sound like. That's messed up shot at by a desert eagle suppressed with subsonic ammunition so i have a camera set up about uh about 100 yards into those woods i'm gonna shoot past it and we're gonna see what that sounds like I swear to God, that doesn't sound like anything. <laughs> and again, this thing is fun. It sounds like somebody hammering sheet metal more than anything. I'm just saying. Functioning perfectly. Honestly, I think it's functioning better than normal. <laughs> is, is that the fact? <laughs> hey. Oh man, I thought I was wearing that shirt today. All right, that's enough scientific mumbo jumbo. Let's have a. That's the fat electrician, uh, it's never a war crime the first time shirt. All right, that's enough scientific mumbo jumbo. Let's have a little bit of fun with this thing, shall Let's we? Let's go. I have a target that I have not shot on this channel in a very long time a fire extinguisher. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can hit this thing. Oh! Dude, the slow motion camera just looks awesome, okay? I don't care. <laughs> okay, up next, let's see how well we would do at defeating some barriers with these 450 grain subsonic rounds. There's no good way to carry these things. <laughs> oh God. Here we go. Why are you shooting for the groin? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the balls. That's just messed up. That's just messed up. I'd say those do a pretty good job. It is so weird shooting this thing right before every shot. I keep thinking, oh, I forgot my ear protection. I'm like, oh yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> so now let's try this thing out against some armor. This is a Premier Body Armor Shield. This is rated up to 44 Magnum. Let's see what happens when we slap this with some subsonic 50 AE. Okay. I didn't know they made shields for... I didn't know they did that! Two rounds coming And he's got the you. slow motion... I did that just go straight through? No, it didn't. Did it go straight through? I didn't even see it ricochet. Hold on a second. A -E. Hold on a second. All right, two rounds coming at you. So I'm gonna slow this down myself. Okay, there it is. There's the round. Hits.
Is that the actual... No, that can't be the bullet. That's too thin. There's the impact. Okay. I don't think it went through. I don't even see it. I... I have no idea, but I love the slow. I love slow motion. Okay, so I put one on the left side of the shield and one oh, okay. on the right side of the shield. Let's see what we did. I don't see any water leaking, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah! Wow. Looks like that shield ate both of those rounds. Nice. It's a five gallon water jug. Still good, but water's a little boring. So let's add some mustard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Why you gotta do that to the war crime shirt, man? Why? Oh, nice. That is disgusting. Yeah. Oh, nasty. Oh. oh, look at the bubbles in there. Oh. <laughs> Joke's on you, you idiots. That's a mannequin. It's not a real person. So sometimes I get things in the mail from you all. Sometimes it's awesome and sometimes it's terrifying. <laughs> Brandon, Andrew, and Emma, they sent me this wretched creature. I've never seen this yes. type of creature. Yes! Yes! Kirby, it's a new strand, I guess. It is absolutely horrific. I mean, look at its eyes. There is no soul in there. So now we need to find out how well would a desert eagle with subsonic damage do against this? I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. things are popular I don't know a single person who didn't want to throw away a wood chipper 100 pounds a gallon do the math oh. so watch out Eddie Hall go break it go oh. break it okay we are about 100 yards back let's take a few shots at it nice oh that sounds awesome dude I missed that one. Man, I missed that one too. There we go. <laughs> I have to admit, I got a little too excited with two of those shots, but looks like we hit it multiple times. I had not shot that far back with that Desert Eagle suppressed with that ammo, so I didn't really know where my point of impact would be at that distance, but it looks like we hit it a few times. I was aiming somewhere in this area here so I definitely would say I'm getting some drop at 100 yards with those subsonic rounds. But they're 450 grains, so what do you expect? 
<laughs> what is he doing with the limo? Out of nowhere. <laughs> Why does he keep running over for that <laughs> Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you thought about the sick, awesome, suppressed Desert Eagle in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give it a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on all other social media platforms. Links to those are in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a Sheeby Kicking shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I don't understand this guy. Oh my god. Warbugs. I, I gotta look at that. I gotta look at that stupid thing being shot again. It's awesome and sometimes it's terrifying. Brandon, Andrew, and <laughs> <laughs> Bugs. <sighs> it's great that he has this kind of space, the, the, like this area that he has to be able to do this stuff. I'm going to have an area like that too remarkably soon. I just don't know what I'm going to do when I have that kind of area to actually do stuff that I want to do. Um, it's, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a trip, Warpugs. It's going to be a trip. So, um, Suppressed Deagle, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Suppressed Deagle blowing away terrifying childhood toys, even better. Guys, this was worth the price of admission just to see that little creature get, get thrown in a wood chipper. I'm just saying. And I'm not sure what the deal was with the fat electrician shirt. <laughs> Or folks, I'm going to head out from here. Um, leave a like and a comment below. All of Kentucky Ballistics uh, links are going to be in the description down below. Make sure you check them out. I'm going to head out, and I'm, <laughs> i am got to go show this to the wife, because those things are creepy. I told her those things are creepy as all, and she probably heard me laughing like a maniac back here. She wants to know why. <sighs> Scott, you were brilliant. That was excellent.